Hi, I'm Nina Bailey. I'm the UK Design Manager at For My Group. And so this video is a quick overview of the new Prima Worktop update. I um, just wanted to share with you what we've done to the range and what's coming and what's going to be launching very soon. So a quick overview of what's new is that we've got 16 new worktop decors, which are really beautifully designed uh, to bring a lighter palette across all materials. And then we have a selection of new decor and texture combinations. So we're introducing into Prima things like our daisy texture, our woodland texture, and our home ceramic. And then we have two brand new textures as well, which we're putting into Prima, which is our parchment and our glisten. So we have 10 new feature flashbacks in Prima, but we've also decided to match all 34 worktops with their matching splashback as well. So you can have that fluid look from the worktop through the splashback. But also we've got the 10 new feature splashbacks, which will you know, be the way of adding a bright, bold colour um, in a brush metallic effect as well. So we've got those coming. And then we've basically decided to put every single worktop in Prima in a 4.1 length so really easy to know what's what because they're all going to be the same and they're all going to have three mil tight radius of um, the post formed edge and that's going to be in 38 mil thickness so all consistent with that making it um, really simple to choose the decals so we wanted to keep the structure of Prima really easy to navigate around um, and we've made it so that there is literally sort of one of everything in, in the range. There's something for everybody and there's no sort of duplication across the range. So we've got things like the categories of light woods and dark woods um, and light stones and warm stones and dark stones. So really simple categories so you know where to look for what you want. And so in the light woods, we've got three new additions of a limed wood, so a limed white four wood, which is really nice, a raw planked wood, so grayed off, um, stripped back, sort of planked colour effect. Um, and then we've got the planked concrete as well, which is a really nice combination of concrete and wood in a decor, and it's answering that sort of grey wood. So then we have the dark woods, um, and we've added two into this section. So we've got the stained planked wood, which is like the raw planked wood, but a darker, deeper colour. And then the smoky planked walnut, which is a really beautiful, large scale walnut design, uh, very fluid with tones of brown and grey running through. Then we have the light stones. So we've got things like white Portland in there, which is a sort of like a soft stone look, like a, like a sandstone. And then we've got the white Bardiglio, which is a really stunning um, marble effect, very simple and subtle, um, but lots of detail when you get close to it. And then we've got the grey river stone, and you'll hear me say that a few times because the river stone is now part of the new series. So we've got three river stones in Prima, and they are sort of like a natural terrazzo look. Um, and this one is the grey one, so obviously in a grey colourway, and it's a slightly warmer uh, tone of grey. And then we have the grey chalk stone, which is a really adaptable product. So that's got multiple hues of grey running through it um, in this sort of concrete contrasting look. And it will just work with multiple hues of grey, so really adaptable. And then we have the warm stones. We've got two new additions in there and we've got the marmara cream, which is a sandy sort of beige, again, sort of like a soft stone look. And then we've got the red river stone. So that's the red version of that river stone series. And that's like a earthed terracotta color. Then we have dark stones. So we did have a lot in this section previously, but we've tried to sort of even the, the range a little bit. So there's sort of same amount of everything um, across, across the board in the range. So we've only added one in here, which is the charcoal river stone. So that's like the sort of black version of the river stone. And this one is in a new texture called Glisten, which has got a sort of twinkle to it. Um, and it really brings that sort of natural terrazzo look to life. Then we have the quartz and engineered. So we've got two new products going in here, which we call the cast stone. So we've got a silver cast stone, which is like a gray engineered stone look. 
and then we have the moon cast stone which is white and it's got sort of flecks of like a bluey green color which is a really nice subtle way of just adding a bit of color uh, into the decor in the space. Then we have our feature splashback. So we've got a variety of solid colours in there. Uh, we've got blues, we've got some, we've got the new, the denim which we've added in, um, and we've got new colours of algae and marble green. We've taken the uh, wasabi and the cassis from Axiom because it fitted better with the brighter palette of Prima. And all of the colours in the Prima splashbacks are going to be in a gloss finish, which is a really nice alternative to a glass look as well. And we've even got a colour called Liquid Glass, um, which just gives a really subtle glass look, which can be really usable. And then we've also got a selection of brushed metal effects. So I think these tie in really nicely with, you know, different accessories in the kitchen, like handles or taps or whatever, just to sort of highlight that colour so you can, you know, if you've got sort of more silver coloured taps and handles and oven handles and things like that, it, you can choose the colour that ties best in with that. So lots of flexibility within that. So that is the sort of quick update for Prima and I hope that was helpful. So the launch will be coming very soon and thank you very much for listening. Bye.